Hey guys, what's up? It's time to do a speed test comparison between the Tecno Pova 5 Pro 5G versus the Infinix Note 30. And the Infinix Note 30 is powered by MediaTek Helio G99 SoC with 8GB of RAM, while the Tecno Pova 5 Pro 5G is powered by Dimensity 6080 SoC with 8GB of RAM. So on the back, we have a triple cameras on the Infinix Note 30 versus the dual cameras we have on the Tecno. So on the Tecno, we have 50 megapixel f1.6 aperture main camera, while on the Infinix, we have 64 megapixel f1.7 aperture main camera. Then we have a two megapixel depth sensor as well as a VGA lens on the Infinix Note 30. On the back, we have a vehicle leather finish on the Infinix, especially in this orange color, while on the Tecno, we have a plastic back. Again, we have a transparent look on the back. And on side the back, we also have LED lights, which light up if you have any notification so in the and the side it is completely made up of plastic we have fingerprint scanner inside the power button so on the bottom we have our usb type c with headphone jack and both phones also has a serious speaker so in this video i'm going to show you how is the dimensity 6080 is going to perform against the MediaTek helio g99 we have inside the infinix note 30 which is a 4g phone as compared to a 5g phone so without any wasting time, let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Logos came up first on the Infinix Note 30. And both phones is running on Android 13. On the Tecno, we have iOS version 13.1, while on the Infinix, we have XOS version 13. So Infinix. Note 30 is faster when it comes to booting up and the Tecno Note is also right behind there. We only have one or two second difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up. And guys, now let's talk about the displays between these two devices and both phones has exactly the same 6.7 inch Full HD plus IPS as a display with 120Hz refresh rate. Also, we have a center punch hole on the top as you can see and the bottom chin it is actually about the same as well. And guys, have is closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Also, we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones. Opening up phone dialer, that is about the same. And now let's open settings, and that is also about the same. Let me go to the display on both phones. As you can see, we have 120Hz refresh rate on both phones. We also have auto option, but in my opinion, auto option, it is not really optimized. So I prefer all the time 120Hz mode. Now check out some more apps, Amazon shopping. And that is exactly the same on both phones. Again, you guys are the judge of the speed test. And scrolling wise, absolutely smooth we have, as you can see. And now let's open this. And now let's open this. And this time, slightly faster on the Infinix Note 30. Scrolling wise, absolutely smooth. And now check out some games application. And now let's see that how much a difference between a Dimensity 6080 versus the MediaTek Helio G99. Now let's see Candy Crush Sega. First game. Slightly faster. Instagram. About the same. Let's see pin out. Again about the same. Snapchat. About the same. Spotify. Spotify slightly faster on the Techno. Survey so Suffer, MediaTek Helio G99 versus Dimensity 6080. So the Tecno it is, as well as the Infinix, both phones is open this game at the same time, which is really interesting. And let me show the speakers on both phones. How is the speakers? So first on the Tecno, here's the Tecno looks like. Max volume. And here is the Infinix. And in my opinion, the speaker it is more louder on the Infinix, but as far as the bass and cousin, it is more higher on the Tecno Pova. And now let's see Temper and 2, another game. We have a downloading thing on both phones. Let's see how both phones is gonna perform. So Infinix Note 30 is a slightly faster, not a big difference at all. I'm expecting a big difference between these devices. And now let's see PUBG Mobile. Now let's see. In that game we have any 
difference or not so the Technopova 5 Pro 5G it is done as well as Infinix Note 30 so, so you can see we don't see any difference between these devices also in that game we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate on both phones and now let's open X and this time it is about the same Zedge and Zedge it is open up at the same time on both phones and scrolling feels really smooth again 120 hertz it is a silky smooth even on the Infinix Note 30 and last time I'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera application let's see which one open the camera faster so both phones is open the camera at the same time as far as the cam performance are concerned in my opinion the cam performance it is slightly better on the Infinix Note 30 and now let's look at the front face camera so the front face camera it is looks more good on the Infinix Note 30 ok guys now let's see internet browsing speed so I am using Chrome on both phones also we have same Wi-Fi network now let's open gsmarina.com that is open at the same time open up at the same time and scrolling wise again absolutely smooth we have no issue whatsoever and now let's open this review of the oppo find n3 foldable again absolutely smooth next on the list is the samsung.com now let's see samsung.com which one will faster so both phones is open this website at the same time and scrolling fees really smooth again absolutely smooth no issue whatsoever and now let's see RAM management on both phones now let's see that how is the 8 GB of RAM is gonna perform on the techno phone dialer still there settings still there Amazon shopping refresh on the Infinix Candy Crush Sega refresh on the Infinix Instagram seems like in app refresh let's pin out still refresh on the infinix snapchat and that is refresh on both phones service offer ref still there service offer again refresh on the infinix so ram measurement looks really bad on the infinix temper and 2 that is still there pubg pubg it is still there in the memory open up x Zedge and last we back to the internet browser and guys over I have to say regarding the apps opening speed as you can see that and the difference between the new Technopova 5 Pro 5G versus the Infinix Note 30 it is not a big difference we constant have a one second difference in some games only and the Dimensity 6080 SoC is performed very close to the Meditech Helio G99 in these applications so looks like the performance it is very very close so in terms of the RAM is wise in that area and the Technopova 5 Pro is performed much better in the RAM management while on the Infinix we have a lot of refresh and now let's talk about the battery sizes so both phones has a 5000 mAh battery size we have 45 watt super fast charging on the Infinix Note 30 versus a 68 watt we have on the Technopova 5 Pro 5G and that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Technopova 5 Pro 5G was the Infinix Note 30 and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and follow me on Instagram as well as on X and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.